Hey everybody, I hope you're having a good day. Despite the hot weather here at the moment, I'm here to do a video all about velvet and the wearing thereof. <laughs> Black. I love velvet because it's one of the materials that's blacker than other materials. Anyway, you've definitely heard me speak before about darkincloset.com. So everything I'm showing you today is from there. They stock a lot of my favorite, like, fancier fashion labels, like Pentagram, Dark and Love, Devil Fashion, Punk Crave. So I've got a variety. I've got a variety of things we're going to look at and try on today. So thank you so, so much, Dark and Closet. Always honored to do a video for Dark and Closet. Also, there's a code below for free international shipping if you do ever want to do some shopping there. So sweet. I'll show you everything I've got here and then we'll try it all on, okay? That's always one of the perils of shopping online, isn't it? Are things going to fit? Are they going to look good on you? I'll try this on last because I think it's the thing that I was most excited by. This is a vest, but it's a really long vest. So it's kind of like a, it's a lady's waistcoat with a really long skirted part at the back. And it's got, as you can see, this ridiculous huge <laughs> trim of feathers. Is this going to look ridiculous or amazing? This comes from Pentagram. I've got a couple of things from Pentagram which have lasted years and years. This feels potentially kind of fragile, well, at least the feathery part is it. Anything with feathers on it is fragile. The next ridiculous looking thing, well, it's not ridiculous, it's just extravagant, right? It's a little bit extravagant. This is a jacket. Probably not for here at the moment where it's peak summer, but perhaps like, for the Northern Hemisphere where it's cold. This jacket, look at it. Isn't that beautiful material? It's thick with a satiny lining. I just loved the fur. I like fur. I mean, it's fake fur but it's, it's really nice and soft, fake fur. I always feel like fur adds sophistication to any outfit, doesn't it? it and it's, it's interesting because you don't see it very often, so it's, it's a bit more interesting. I just thought it looked fascinating. Two dresses. Oh. When I'm getting ready to go out to a club night or a party or wherever I'm going, I'm one of those people, hands up if you are the same, who puts on multiple outfits before eventually just settling on the same sort of thing I always wear. And one of my favorite things to wear is like just long black velvet dresses. You've seen me many times in long black velvet dresses. Uh, my favorite ones tend to get worn to death, so I'm extremely happy to have another two. Two. This one I'm most looking forward to trying. I really hope it fits. I saw it on the website and I was like, oh well, I need that in my life. I do. We're in the South Island of New Zealand at the moment. Later this week we're going up to Wellington. I'm hoping to make it to Gathering Shadows, which is something my friends put on each year. And it's like the only kind of remotely goth thing all year <laughs> in the whole country so hopefully i'll be able to make it if this looks good it might be what i have to bring to wear you can't see what things look like when i'm holding them like this right so i'll try them all on in a second and you'll get to see and we'll have a look and see if they're good oh look the light just went funny so this one is from punk rave oh so is this jacket actually i should mention here's the other one this other dress is from dark and love a brand i've been very fond of ever since they came into being oh it's so sweet can you see that? There we go. There's a cross on it. Oh, look at that. I feel like gothic fashion labels these days are dominated by short dresses. Very short. I like long dresses with long sleeves. But speaking of long and short dresses, this, in my head it's a top, but I'm not sure if it's a top or a short dress. I checked the website again, it does actually say short dress. Doesn't this look beautiful? Oh, I can't wait to try it on. I can't wait to try it all on. I thought this would look potentially quite flattering on my body shape. And last thing, eel. It's not a true corset it's like a corset top belt bustier no it's like an underbust corset looking thing <laughs> gosh am i really that wide is it the same fabric as the jacket mm, yes they are they are they're the same fabric so i guess they would match oh yes <laughs> there's what feels like very soft plastic boning in it so not metal boning so it won't actually like crush your guts out of the way or really truly shape your waist it just sort of looks like a corset a corset for the non-committal i seldom see these sort of corset top things that i actually like i thought this one was very very beautiful now it's time to try everything on sorry in advance for my appalling modeling skills it is not something i have a knack for at least doing videos like this gives you an idea of what these garments look like on someone slightly awkward and a little bit fat who doesn't have what is traditionally considered a figure <laughs> i'm gonna try the dresses first 
I will of course link everything below for you uh, so you can go find it nice and easily. There is a humongous selection of stuff on Darken Closet, like they have stuff for men as well. It's one of those sites that's like overwhelming with all the beautiful things. I get a terrible case of grabby hands at the screen. Hopefully I don't bake to death in this heat, but let's go. Ah, oh, let's go try it all on. Help, I've fallen in love and I can't get out. The more I look at it, the more interesting it is. I don't know how good an angle this is. My face is gone, so not a very good one. You'd think that after 10 years that I'd be kind of good at filming myself, but I'm not. This dress is bringing to life all my stern governess dreams. Once you finish your arithmetic, check, it's time for your cardio oil. It's got that kind of, it, uh, where do I even start? I always went for what I called raggedly elegance. Wear something that's really beautiful, but also a bit torn, like munted looking. So this has kind of got that in mind, I feel. Like it's this beautiful, I feel like modest Victorian inspired style, but it's also got like, angles bits asymmetrical that's the word i'm looking for so this is all velvet and really fancy lace but it's light velvet so it's not thick and hot the sleeves aren't too annoying they're kind of long but they're not like crazy annoying and they've got this cool like zigzag pattern which i haven't really seen before it's a good length on me it doesn't trail across the ground i love everything about it i went straight in for the next beautiful dress and now again bad at filming myself now i've got mixed feelings i love this one too again this dress is really comfortable i think it kind of accentuates rather than flatters my wide shoulders but not much i can do about that unfortunately i feel like maybe it's slightly too big but it's the same size double xl it's the same kind of light velvet so something that you could probably survive wearing in the spring or the summer you could absolutely also wear it in the autumn and the winter time it's got like a really pretty crucifix at the neck and actually the neckline all together is quite interesting look what's going on this is quite simple at the same time being impressive like it's not too much but it looks really nice oh oh we've got a loose thread people oh, i will forgive you because i love you dark and love but these sleeves are nice, they're not annoying, they're very light, soft lace. Don't you feel like most of the stuff we see these days is like short skirts and crop tops and things? I like for my clothes to like cover my body. Do you like this dress? Which one do you think I should take with me to Wellington? This jacket is very impressive, but it does not look good on me at all, unfortunately, like impressively bad. I guess the shape of it combined with all the fur on the front, which is soft and beautiful and I like it very much. Unfortunately, it has the effect of making me look very wide. <laughs> it is the opposite of flattering. The bottom part sticks out here, so it's making me look very wide all around. But okay, never mind. We'll look at it anyway because it's it's magnificent. For the right person, it is glorious. It's got like quite short sleeves, which is unusual. Unlike the other things I've tried on, it's a stiffer, thicker velvet, so it's really an autumn winter type thing I think. Perfect if you're not in the Antipodes right now as I am. It'd be so perfect for walking around like a, a wintery market or something just looking completely splendid. Some really impressive decorations going on in the front. A very beautiful baroque flocked be- oh look at it. It's just it's nice isn't it? It does up with just like one big hook and eye. It's quite romantic I feel like it would be lovely to wear out on a date wouldn't it just to be like Hi. Again, we're sort of a bit adjustable, adjustable at the back. It's very hard to do this if you can't see what you're doing. It's lovely and fuzzy and warm around my neck. It's so soft. <laughs> Amazing on the right person, but that person is not me, unfortunately. I guess that's always the risk with online shopping, isn't it? You don't know if something's going to suit you until you receive it. My first feeling when I put this on is very hippie-ish. Like combination elegant gothic and total happy, which once upon a time was something that you could not imagine ever meshing. Uh, but, but there we are, we've got huge long, huge long sleeves. It's nice around the bottom isn't it? Cute like point frilly bits, pointy frilly bits. I was bloody lucky to get it on. Wow. It zips up under here and it's like just need to lose some weight, obviously. I feel like I wouldn't wear this to dinner because I can imagine the sleeves just being phenomenally irritating. At least like it doesn't fall over your hands, like it's quite far back if that makes sense. It's got these little 
elasticy, strappy things. And this lovely little feathery rose decoration on the front. This trim along here has got a, like tiny wee sequins on it, so it's a little bit shiny and sparkly. I guess it's like a wee bit adjustable at the back. I'm seeing flare pants for sale all the time. Does anyone actually wear them? Are you a wearer of flared trousers? Because if you were going for that look, a pair of those would be perfect <laughs> with this thing, right? You would be like the ultimate goth hippie. Gippy? Goppy. It's... Apart from the hippie-ish aspect, I think this is very pretty. I like the, the silhouette it creates. Is it a long top or a short dress? It's either, it's neither, it's both. I guess you could see these sleeves as being like back wings. That is the other way that I sort of feel. Okay, now this isn't a true corset, but that being said, it is pretty soft and it does look amazing. It's that same thick stuffed pattern velvet, so pretty, with like lacy uppy bits in this V shape which is quite flattering. It shapes the waist ever so slightly, also not like a true corset, I guess you would just buy this in like your normal size rather than you know I'm trying to size down several inches. This is done up, I think, as tight as it will go. This is one of those sorts of things that you can make a fairly boring outfit look quite fancy. Also, if you've got, say, a skirt or something with elasticated waist and you want something to cover it up. Yeah, I really love this wee corset top thing. Hmm, another thing that I'm now considering taking to Wellington. I don't know, what am I gonna wear? Mm. Or the look of a corset while still being able to breathe. This looks mental. <laughs> I really like the design. I love that it's got this open bust. I love the long waistcoatness. I mean, that's super cool. Just looks crazy on me. The feathers. I, I think I would actually prefer it without the feathers. And that's like the thing that drew me to start with, of course. It looks like a feather boa, doesn't it? I think it would look better on someone a bit less plump, so it wasn't quite so out there. I've put a skirt under this, but I think it would look better with like a bigger skirt, like a ball gown type skirt. I feel like this would be better, on me at least, if it had like smaller feathers, like, like marabou feathers or something, not these great big ones. It looked good on the model who was wearing it, so it definitely will suit some people. Thick, sturdy velvet. It's firm. It's good. It feels good quality. Like I said, the other other pentagram things I've had have lasted years and years, so I guess this is in for the long haul too. I feel like this would also be good with a blouse with a cravat, wouldn't it? Like some roughly neck stuff. Better? I feel like I look like the Goblin King. Jump, magic, jump, magic, jump. This is a look of some kind. <laughs> See what I mean? It looks good with something roughly. Oh, I will mention that when I opened this out of the parcel, it had quite a factory smell. I've noticed the same smell in other garments with feathers in the past. But I just aired it out for a couple of days. It was fine. As we were. Thank you so much for watching. Which thing was your favourite? Uh, would you wear any of these? Would you wear the crazy feather vest or the, the fur jacket? And which of the things should I take up to Wellington? If you have not already subscribed to my lovely spooky channel, please do so. We would love to have you. And as always, take care of yourself. Be nice to each other. Stay smooth. And I will see you next time. Bye.